Hey everybody, what's up? It's Pat here from Mountain Sledder and check it out. Today we're riding the 2024 Skidoo Summit X. There's a couple new things that have changed for the 2024 model of the Summit X. I'm going to show you guys those and then just a quick little overview again of kind of what this sled is all about and who it's built for as a rider. Okay, so for 2024, the Summit X has basically three main changes that I'm gonna tell you guys about. They start up here on the cockpit, so we might as well check out there first, okay? So first of all, uh, on the Summit X this year, we've got the adjustable brake lever. So this was a feature on the Summit X with Expert Package last year. It's now been brought over to the Summit X and uh, we've been riding sleds with these quite a lot this year and it, it's nice to be able to just dial in that distance between the lever and the bar just to get it fit for your own comfort, your own finger length. Uh, one thing that surprised me when I've been riding is that I thought because I have quite large hands, I'd want that farther out. But in fact, I've actually been bringing it in and that's just giving me really good control, having that lever just nice and tight to my, to my hand and to the bar. So that's the first thing. The next thing is this riser. So uh, this is something else that was found on the Skidoo Summit with Expert Package for 23. And what it is is a 120 millimeter long riser. So that's 4.7 inches. So this lower riser just really brings that whole rider into a more athletic position. So it kind of forces you to bend your knees and get down low. And that's great for when you're doing this kind of technical terrain in the trees and that sort of thing it really helps out. So, for a tall guy like myself, I'm over six feet tall, it's perfect. It gets you right into that nice position. So you shouldn't really worry about it being too low, and it's gonna be really comfortable for shorter riders too. Okay, so the third big change for the 2024 Summit X is the addition of the quick adjust limiter strap. So again, this was a feature that was on the Summit Expert for 23 and they brought it over to the Summit X now. And, and these three changes basically are all a way of saying that this sled is not less than the Expert. It's just different, it has a different riding characteristic. Uh, it's more easy going, it's very agile, nimble, whereas the Expert's more of maybe a precision machine. But this feature is equally useful on the Summit X as it is on the Expert, so why not have it? Previously, this adjustment made a 34 millimeter change in the length of the limiter strap from precision to agile. Agile is a long limiter strap. Precision is a sucked in tight limiter strap. The difference in the length of the adjustability between 34 millimeters and up to 50 millimeters came with the Gen 5. So it makes a greater difference in the handling of the sled when you switch it positions. So it's pretty quick and easy to use when you're riding. You just pull this tab out, flip it around, and now you're into precision. So this is the mode you'd want to use for um, doing really technical uphills, you want to keep the skis planted and flat, um, side hill, steep, really steep side hill stuff where you want that little bit of precision and you want the sled to drive forward. If you're out in some open meadows, some open hills, and you want to be doing wheelies and re-entries and all that kind of fun stuff that the sled can do, you just flip that over into agile. And most riders, myself included, will keep this in agile most of the time because it's just the most fun. And then if you find yourself in a hole at the end of the day and you're really trying to get out or you really need to get through this section and it's kind of gnarly, you can flip that over into precision and it's just going to keep everything a little bit more planted. All right, so just quickly going to go over some of the things that make this Summit X the sled that it is. We'll start at the front, very quickly go through it. Some of the things that separate it more from the Summit X with Expert Package, just to help make that distinction. So up front, first of all, we've got the DS3 ski on here which you cannot see because it's covered in snow, but <laughs> there it is. So the keel is a little bit different on this ski. The profile of it at the back is a little bit different than the DS4. So it's a little bit easier steering the ski and uh, just nimble and agile. Uh, the Summit X has the KYB 36 plus shocks, and this is that lightweight spring right there. Check that out, the gap between the, the springs. So. Uh, just keeping everything light and agile as much as they can for this particular model. This sled has the 34 inch ski stance, uh, which is becoming more common throughout the Summit lineup. You could get a 34 inch ski stance on the Summit X in 2023 as well, but that's just carrying through and it's a great change for the lineup. 
I really think it helps uh, side hilling, just holding that sled on edge, it just makes it a lot easier. So Summit X features this compact seat. As you can see, it's quite small, it's out of the way. It's not quite as small as what's on the expert package, but it's not really getting in your way. Tucked in, it's really narrow. You can see that it tapers towards the top. And to the back, of course, the Summit X has the T-Motion X rear suspension. So that has that pivoting arm. So it's gonna pivot two degrees or so each way, just to give you a little bit more traction as you're going over undulating or uneven snow. The rear suspension can kind of follow that. And uh, I've heard a comparison. It was Carl, I think, that said it's kind of like running a enduro tire with low pressure. So that tire can just rip the surface a little bit more and you get a little bit better flotation, especially with that 16 inch wide track. Speaking of the track, this Lex Edge is a Powder Max track with the Flex Edge. Up here, you can see that the rods don't come all the way to the edge and the track can just follow that train a little bit more and just flex on some of those uphill or side slope sort of features or bumps or hard snow, just kind of flex and, and give you a little bit more flotation and traction in those cases. So the Summit X comes with in a 154 uh, with a two and a half inch lug or a three inch lug and the 165 with a three inch lug. And of course you can get it with the 850 E-Tech Turbo R.